Hey, what's up? Welcome to the iOS app challenge. We're gonna get started building your very first iPhone app if you've never made one. Otherwise, if you've made them before and you're looking for an idea, this is the place that you need to be. Hey, I'm Paul Soltz. I run super easy apps and we're going to just get started. So this is gonna be a summary of the kickoff that we had today. I had a live stream and I'm just gonna run through what we did. We talked about doing an iOS 11, or sorry, iOS 12 app that just came out so you can get some of the stuff. So I'll be going over what we need to do. So the schedule today, we talked about the idea. I'm gonna walk through the idea. And then tomorrow we're gonna get into UI design and prototyping. There's gonna be a live stream at 3 p.m. I'll have more details in the email announcement tomorrow about where that will be. And then on Sunday, we're gonna have another Q&A and that's gonna be doing code and logic. So that's where you can find this. And I don't know if it'll be on YouTube. I had a bunch of issues with YouTube today, so we might try a different piece of software. All right, so what I wanna talk about is the idea. One of the things that you're gonna to wanna to download and I'll have a link for this in the email is what the app idea is about. So my mom teaches diabetes. And so I figured why not create an app that will help her as she's trying to teach people and show them that they're at risk and maybe help them reduce some of their risk factors. So that's what we're gonna be getting into with this. We're gonna be turning this single page. I found this in the American Diabetes Association. They had this big, long thing, and this looks really interesting. So I grabbed this PDF out of that, and I decided why not make this an app challenge? Let's make an app that's gonna help people evaluate their health and figure out next steps if they are at risk for type two diabetes. So that's what we're building. What we started with in the live stream, I wanna just summarize real quick. We talked about diabetes and what I like to do when I'm brainstorming any kind of new app idea is to start with a mind map. And you have to start on paper. So I have a physical piece of paper. I took a picture of it and this is that. And so I'm providing it here. I want you to make your own mind map. And so that's gonna be some of the homework that you have before our next session. I want you to, to think about, okay, what is gonna go into this app? You're gonna to have to go over, uh, maybe print this out or get the PDF if you don't already have it, review what the quiz is all about, and then create a mind map similar to this. Now, this is something that I did live on camera and it was sort of just on the fly brainstorming. There was some feedback and, and sort of bouncing ideas and riffing ideas off of other people who were on the live stream. I've got close to, I think, 65 people signed up for this challenge. So that's super exciting. And I think I'll have a Slack channel set up. That's something else I need to uh, set up, but that will be in the email details uh, for tomorrow. So this is my mind map. And just quickly going over this, I just want to spend a minute on this more. Um, we're talking about multiple choice. I'm looking at the mind map. We're trying to determine someone's age. So we could have the multiple choice like is on that, that PDF. This PDF has a, a multiple choice for age, or we can be smart and just ask how old are you? And the, the app can figure out, okay, how many points do I score them? The whole purpose of this app is when you answer these questions, you get rated for points. So if we look at an example here, I'm 32, so I'm less than 40, so I'd get zero points. But my dad is 65, I think, and he would get three points. So he's at risk just because he's 65. And so you are gonna wanna score yourself, see how you score, and then we're gonna build the app this weekend so that you can do this automatically. All right, so that's a little bit about that. And I talked, uh, I talked there about um, a way that you can control and so this is Brew Coffee. This is an app that I'm working on. One of the fun things I like to do is use gestures so I can use my finger and I can just slide this number up and down or left and right to change potentially your age. So you might be 76. And then I've got a little stepper thing so I can step one little thing at a time. So that is the Brew Coffee app. This is in beta right now. If you go to brewcoffeeapp.com, you can sign up for the beta. I'm gonna be uh, inviting a bunch more people to that public beta. All right, so that's that's sort of one idea for input. The other idea for input for that, uh, and it looks like we're pretty much done with that, is just doing what they do on, on the stopwatch, just using the built-in control, which you can totally use as well. So that's another option. 
for the number input, or you could use the text field. You could do just typing on the keyboard, though I don't like doing that on a mobile device. This is not fun to use on a mobile device. Make it interactive. Use the, the sliders that are a lot easier. All right, so those are some of the ideas that we went through. Watch the live stream to sort of see that whole process if you want to understand sort of my notes here. This is my mind map. This is why you need to do your own mind map. All right, so the next, we took the mind map and then we started riffing on that idea and coming up with screens. And so I just draw, like, this is super hard to read. Um, I probably need a smaller width uh, Sharpie next time I do this. But the point is not to be perfect and to be amazing. Uh, I've got some artistic talent, but I'm not a professional artist. So it's gonna look sloppy and that's fine. What I want you to do is riff on the ideas that we have here. How could you lay out these screens? What are the different things? One of the things that we discovered as we're sort of going through this is like, okay, how are we going to navigate and sort of walk through the content? And then there's there's other concerns that came up. Uh, we're gonna have to ask privacy if we wanna work with health data. So there's some smart things that we can do or we can keep this pretty basic. So it depends on what you wanna do for this, do you want your app to be intelligent so to just pull stuff from the health data? That requires that you ask for permission. That's just one thing to keep in mind. How should it go if you're a man or a woman? Do you, what if you make a mistake? Can you go back? So it's these different types of things that you have to think about when you're doing this type of survey. That's what this whole step and process is. And I need to do a, a better sort of walk through of this on my own so I can figure out how I actually want to map things out. So that's what I'm going to be working on tonight and tomorrow morning. And then uh, tomorrow I'll share what I come up with and I want you to share what you come up with. So we talked about autofilling potentially from Facebook or Amazon. There's some kind of Amazon facial recognition. It's spelled recognition with a K. So if you Google that, you can look that up. Todd mentioned that in our live stream. Um, so there's always smart things that you can add, but let's keep this simple for now and just let you decide how you want to do it. I'm going to I'm gonna probably keep it straightforward for my implementation, um, but we're at the brainstorming phase. So do whatever you want. It's, it's not my app. It's your app. So I want you to think about what you want to do. So that is sort of the quick summary of what we went over. This is all going back to this simple form that you can calculate your risk yourself. We just want to turn this into automated workflow so that it's like that. You don't have to think about it. It just works. All right. So in order to get started, we've got one or two more minutes. I want to wrap up. I'm going to, tomorrow I'm going to be doing work in Sketch and we're going to be learning how to get started with that. You can try this free for 30 days. I highly recommend if you're going to get into app development, you need this software. This is amazing software. There's other software similar to it. This is the software I use. I highly recommend it. It's very easy to export your assets and I'll show you how to do that. Now, if you don't want to get this, I will be providing all of the, the PNG assets that I use in my version. But if you want to customize the app yourself, change the colors, change the style, that's up to you to download this software. All right, so that's Sketch and you can get that at sketchapp.com. Next up, you're going to need Xcode 10. We're going to be working with Swift 4.2. I think you can get by with Xcode 9 for the stuff that we're doing, but I'm going to be, once I get into the code stuff, it's really gonna be Swift 4.2. So if I'm using any of those new features, any of those new APIs, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the latest there. I know that there's some differences in the string APIs and stuff like that. So something to keep in mind, go grab uh, Xcode 10. You just need to log in with your Apple ID. Once you do that, you can download it and if you're watching this now before, I think, next week or the week after, uh, you're going to see that this is the Xcode 10 GM seed. You can go ahead and download that. That's perfectly good to get started with. That means it's the final version. In a week or two, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to grab the latest update of Xcode on the App Store. So if we type in Xcode on the Mac App Store and we jump over to this, um, if you're watching this later, uh, the current version is 9.4. This is going to be updated once it goes through the official release process, and it will be Xcode 10. All right, so that is the software that you'll need in order to follow along. And 
I want to talk about the next upcoming live streams. So I'm going to have two more live streams. One's going to be at 3 p.m. tomorrow, and the other one's going to be at 3 p.m. on Sunday. So really easy to remember. Every live stream is at 3 p.m. And tomorrow we're going to do design prototyping. Uh, I might do a couple of extra supplemental videos after the live stream, but I'm just sort of going to kick off the process, check in with you. And then on Sunday, we'll jump into code. And so that'll probably be a little bit longer. We'll be working on some of that. And then I might do some supplemental videos as we sort of go through that process. So it's kind of a creative process. We're going to be jumping through a lot of different things. And uh, that brings me to the last thing I want to talk about, which is the homework. There's three things I need you to do. First thing is you have to create your own mind map. Take a picture with your iPhone. If you use the... Um, if you use the notes app, so I've got the notes app here, you can do a new note and then right down in the bottom here, you can click that little plus. And if I hit that right, there's an option to scan documents. That's probably the easiest and I can't get it to focus, but that's probably the easiest way to share what you're doing. So you go ahead and do that and you can take a picture of your documents. That's how I got the screenshots that I had up here. It will auto detect the the page and then it will crop it for you. Super awesome. It's a very convenient way to get your ideas onto your Mac. That's what I did. And I want you to create a mind map. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to create some mock-up screenshots. And so I want you to go through, um, write down some ideas. And I don't know if I have any other examples on me right now, but I'll have more examples tomorrow where I want you to show me your thought process. I want you to think about features and we're gonna leave this wide open. So be creative, come up with your own ideas, make it different than what I'm doing, add your own flair, add your own insight. Um, think about how you can do the user onboarding. Think about how you can uh, play with animations if you wanna learn how to do animations. Think about how you want to progress through the survey, think about what you wanna do when they complete the survey. There's a lot of things that go into apps and it's really easy to say, oh, it's just a survey. The next step is to figure out, okay, how is this survey going to work? So that's your third thing or second thing that you need to do. Your third thing is that you need to send me an email with the first thing and the second thing. So I want a, and it could just be your, you could just share a note with me um, or you can just send me those two images and I'll be looking at those. And, and if we get some tomorrow before the kickoff for the next live stream, then we can look at those live and talk about some of those additional ideas. Awesome. So I'm excited to see what you can create and I will talk to you tomorrow on our next live stream. Catch you later.